Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. If you are a beginner or someone from the IT field or someone from non-IT field and if you want to become ethical hacker, you want to explore ethical hacking field or cyber security and you want to understand how exploiting these web applications or internet applications or general application software, how it's done, then this video series is for you. Yes, this is a series, not just a single video. This is the first video and in this video, I'll start with Burp Suit. I'll cover different aspects of Burp Suit tool, why it's used, how you can utilize it, how you can use it to perform different analysis of web applications so that you can understand what's happening behind the scenes, what network calls are going, what are the requests, response, headers. You can intercept those requests and maybe, you know, make some modifications and then let them go to play around with the backends. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here, as you can see on the screen, I've opened the Portswagger website. So Portswagger is the company which has created the Burp Suit tool. You can easily download the free version of the Burp Suit tool. Uh, you can find it in the product section. So let's just open it up. Burp Suit Enterprise Edition, Burp Suit Community Edition. So Burp Suit Community Edition is the version that is available for free and you can download it for Mac, Linux and a Windows operating system. I also, I've already downloaded it and I'll be using it for making the request. So in today's video, I'll be using Burp Suit to intercept any HTTP request. So Burp Suit comes with a built-in web browser. So we'll open the web browser uh, using Burp Suit and then we'll intercept the request. So I'll be making a request to studygrind.com and we'll intercept the request to see what all network calls are getting made. We'll analyze the request and response and see what can be done and how we can exploit those requests and response and how we can use the information collected through intercepting. So this is how the Burp Suit tool will look like. We can create a temporary project, then use Burp default, start Burp. And with this, the Burp Suit starts. So this is how it looks. A uh, new live task. Now, let me just, you know, go to the proxy tab. So proxy tab is the tab from where we can start accessing different network calls. We can start looking into different websites and then we can also intercept the request calls. So if you can see, here is a button intercept is off and right now it's saying intercept is off. So we are not intercepting any requests right now. And here is a button open browser. So we'll use this button to open a browser. So let me just click on this. So once I click on this, it will open a browser. So Burp Suit comes with an inbuilt browser like this one, as you can see here, right? So this is an inbuilt browser. You can open any website. This is integrated completely with Burp Suit and how Burp Suit tool works. So whenever I open any website here, uh, this HTTP history will track all the requests, whatever HTTP network calls are made, being made everything will be tracked here. So I can also, even without intercepting, if I just access any website on this Burp Suit tool, uh, sorry, Burp Suit browser here, everything will be tracked in the history tab. So let's just, you know, start with it. So like I said, in the intercept tab, intercept is off. Let me just click on intercept is on. So now, as you can see, the intercept is on. And now let's open studytonight.com website and see what happens. So when intercept is on, what happens is that when you open any uh, URL in the Chromium browser that's, uh, that comes packaged with a uh, Burp Suit tool, the request is intercept. So the request has not yet moved from the client, which is the browser, to the server. It's intercept by the Burp Suit tool in between. So that we can see what is the component of the request, how the request is structured, uh, different request attributes, query params, body params, you know, cookies that are going along, etc. So the request says host this, etc. And if I forward it, so because whenever a web page is opened, whenever a URL is opened, it's not just one request, there are multiple requests being fired. For example, in studytonight.com itself, one request goes to fetch the HTML uh, complete code for the website. Then there are different components on the website, like the CSS is there, then the JavaScript files are there. Then there are logos, images that have to be fetched. So separate network calls are being made for every component that requires for you know completing the web page. So every request is being intercepted. So I'll have to click on forward multiple times to let the burp suit release the request and the request will then go on to the studytoday.com server or any website that we're trying to intercept or analyze. So once the request goes through, you can see that, okay, you know, the request has passed and whatever, you know, was returned back. You can also see what cookies were created, you know, like you can see over here. 
PHP session ID, etc. HTTP2 protocol was being used uh, in case of hitting HTTP request for studytrack.com. Now, once you have all this information, you can also you know switch intercept off. So when intercept is off now, we are no longer intercepting any request, but we are still getting the history. So in HTTP history tab, you can see that, okay, whatever requests are being made, and every request has all the information that you would want to see. So let me just increase the size of it and analyze what other requests. So as you can see, the first request went to studytonight.com, which was a 301 status post code request, which means permanently moved because studytonight.com uh, is opened using www. Uh, you know, subdomain. So it redirects from studytonight.com to www.stratonite.com right and this is the uh, you know actual length of the uh, html page that was received on this one so this is just redirection like from http to https and so on so right these are just you know move permanently request now like i said different javascript and css files also get their personal network call so you can see that there's an sw.js which is getting loaded in a separate network call jQuery is getting loaded, different resources are getting loaded, these are icons. And then, you know, as you can see icons, then there is bootstrap CSS, there's lazy load. So you can analyze everything that a web page is loaded. This is super cool, right? And for every request, so you just have to select, for example, I select this one, right? I can see, okay, you know, how this request went on, how the response was received, with uh, what is the server, what is the version of the server. So once you have such information, for example, you know that, okay, Nginx is the server that this website is using. Then you can see what are the open issues in Nginx and you can try those on, uh, you know, the web application. You can see those by versions as well. So these informations are very useful. You also know that, okay, you know, this is running on PHP 7.4 version, right? What are the security headers being used? If there are some security headers that are missing, so you should learn about what security headers are. Once you know what security headers are, you can explore, okay, you know, certain security headers are missing so you can uh, you know find out what attacks you can make so we'll learn all these in this series later on right so this is how you intercept the request right you can even see what was the request header you can also see what was the request attributes etc right and if for some requests you can even modify these things that's how powerful burp suit is right now for example let's just do it once more uh, for example, if I say intercept is on, again the interception is on. And now if I click on join now button. So this page is supposed to open register page, but it hasn't because the request is intercepted here. And you can see, okay, the request is going to register.php with some redirect uh, request param attached. You can see the request query param here as well. It says redirect code. I can change the value from where if I want to, but I would not. And uh, yeah, so this is how it is. I can even drop the request from here. Let me just forward the request. And once I click on forward, as you can see, the register page is now open here. So this is how burp suit can be used to intercept HTTP requests and analyze HTTP request. There's so much more that you can do using burp suit. And in this series, we'll explore all that stuff. I'll also include one of my teammates who is an expert in ethical hacking. And we'll try to, you know, create some more podcasts around ethical hacking so that I can help you to the best of my capabilities to start learning ethical hacking and explore a career opportunity in this field. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any confusion, please post comments. And in the next video, we'll explore more features of Burp Suit. See you soon.